Hello everyone, welcome to part 1 of this match 3 game tutorial. This project is not for beginners, I hope you understand that and I strongly advise you guys to follow me and do as I do for now and once you master the project you can change whatever you want. So first thing I will just import some sprites and they will be 6 different candies and I call this sprite candy and pay attention I'm using a 64 by 64 sprite and this is very important because it will play a very big role in our script then I will come and choose middle center here to center the origin close this import another sprite it would be the candy spawner and I'll just call it SPN and I'll center the origin and as you see it's the same size as the candy then I'll import another sprite wall and center the origin great import another one and it's the tile so tile 0 great then I will come and create an object, call this object candy, give it the sprite, create another object, call it object wall, give it the sprite, then create another object, give it the sprite and call it in. Good. Now we want to add some scripts. So if you come to Object Candy, you can add a create event. In the create event, well, first thing is if you pl if I place the object now inside the room, this object would be animating because we are using several images inside this sprite index. In order to stop that, I want to say. <coughs> image speed equals zero and this will just stop the animation then I want the object to give me a random candy in another word a random image index so I want to say here image index equals two and I can say uh, random value but I want to have this inside a variable so I say i equals i random and since we have six images you say five because we start at zero great then we set image index to i and fantastic now we need some variables the first one would be a, uh, would be the speed uh, of which the object would be moving at so we say speed equals and here is uh, the important part the size of this sprite is 64 pixels which means if i want to move from my position to the next position i'd be moving 64 pixels and since moving from a place to another place requires time or frames in our case we can divide 64 by a bunch of frames. Now if I divide this by 4, it would give me 16. So the speed would be 16. But that is uh, really fast. And it's not very good. And if I divide this by 6, it will not give me a round number. And that's not good. But if I divide this by 8, it would, me, it would give me 8, which is a round number, and it is a good speed. So we say speed equals 8. Fantastic. Now I go and create a step event. In the step event, we want to fall because uh, we have an object that would be spawning our uh, candies, and they should fall. Now... I want to check for collision 
first because when we fall we don't want to overlap other candies but there is a, a tiny problem I don't want to check for collision for every single type of candy or every single uh, collidable object so in, uh, in, instead of that I'll just come and create an object call it object collider and make it apparent to the uh, collidable objects so add them as children so we come add the candy and the wall as children to the collidable uh, uh, to object collider and here we can easily say if so we are falling and we want to fall only when there is nothing below us so we say if not place meeting x y plus our speed our momentum plus speed and object collider great then we should be moving so we say y plus equals speed great now if we come to object in we can spawn candies so we say if not place meeting x and y object collider because we don't want to keep spawning candies over and over each sec each frame so we say instance create layer x and y then the layer then object candy great if we come to the room we have two layers the background and the instances i want first to create another layer and call it top so we will be creating the candies and the instances uh, layer so we come here and call this instances great now if I come to the room and click on top and click on object in and zoom out a little bit and press alt in the keyboard I can place this object and keep placing it so let me place this amount of objects then we come and click on object wall click alt and place some walls now if I run the game it will be spawning a uh, object let's just test that so you see everything is working just fine and no candy is overlapping other candies the spawner is not spawning candies every single frame and everything is working just fine if we come back to our uh, workspace and come here and uncheck this visibility and come to the wall do the same so we don't need to see them great here in the step event I want to add some other variables so if we're moving I want to say uh, because I need an else statement we want to say else and say that we are not moving so how to define that so I will just use a variable called stable equals false so we're not stable then stable equals true so we're stable and I will initialize this here stable equals false because once you're spawned you're not stable obviously great then you can come to the tile set create a tile choose the tile and tell it the size fantastic if you come to the room here we can add a tile layer place it here above the background choose a tile from here then we can um, actually this is a terrible tile set I don't know why this 
uh, I did it like this. So let me check if I loaded the correct tile set. So if you come here and oh god, then why it happens? I don't know. So if we come to the tile set, we can create a brush, I think. Brush builder, yes. Then you just choose this and like this. Choose this one and create. You created a brush. Fantastic. Uh, do we have to save it anymore? I don't know. Okay, if we come back to the room, we can use this brush. It's a terrible. Uh, you see, I placed this here. I should move it a little bit. So it's good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We don't need these guys. So I don't know if this is a very Actually, th I don't know if I'm what I'm doing <laughs> is the right thing. This tile set is confusing. Actually, the tile set is not confusing. The brush that I created is terrible. Oh my god. I just made it worse. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Now things are better. So if you come and choose top, we can uh, move this object. Actually, they should not be on the tile set. They should be below it. I don't know how to... Oh, okay. Great. Now, if we run the game... You see, everything is working just fantastically. Great. Um... I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, part and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.